Wait, did you read the title of this one right? Yeah, you actually did. So Bethesda released more weapon skins for Fallout 4's Creation Club, that being available on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. These actually had kind of a turbulent or rocky start. Basically, some of them were released on all platforms, at least on PC, I believe. Three of the four were released, but then two were taken down, or three were taken down, and then only one was up for like 12 hours. But now we have all of them, as well as six hours after all of them came out, a bundle was also released. So if you bought them individually, which is 100 points more, to get each one as they're 100 points each and the bundle is 300. I would actually look into contacting Bethesda because I know there was like a good period of time where the individual ones were alive, but the bundle was not. So who knows, maybe you can get your 100 points refunded. But yeah, so there's four new paint jobs. As I did mention, the prices are 100 for each of the individual ones, or you could buy them all in a bundle for 300 credits. And now to be clear, that's only these four in a bundle. There's still a separate bundle of the other three release, which is still worth 225 credits. As well as the Hellfire Power Armor is actually 50% off at the same time. So let's get into the opinion. Well, the army one is fairly simple. It's kind of just a green retexture of different guns. This is going to work the same way as the other weapon skins. So you could apply this to multiple different weapons. And depending on what kind of attachments you have on, it might apply to them. Sometimes it doesn't. The army one, again, is super basic. You just get that army logo placed somewhere on your gun. And there's really not much to say with this one. But then moving on to the Adam Katz one, this is actually probably my favorite. Just right off the bat, I think it looks quite cool in practice. It might not be for everyone. And that checkerboard look definitely is kind of weird depending on which weapon you're using. It has different placement on certain guns. But beyond that, that the Adam Katz logo itself is often in a really cool spot and somewhere where it really just pops and is loud to you. I know especially when using the minigun, it really is just in a awesome spot. So as you're firing, you can see it kind of just glaring back at you. I'm going to go out on a whim and say that's actually my favorite out of the bunch with the second best being the Gunners one. This one's cool, but again, it's kind of very similar to the Army paint job. They have a similar color, a very similar tone of green. The main difference, this one has gunner skulls all over it as well as some of those arrows that you do see on some of the other Gunners equipment. But outside of that, there's really not a ton to talk about with this one. Again, I think it's the second best out of all of them. But again, it's not like this one really shines. I feel like the Adam Katz one really shines and the Gunner's just kind of cool. Maybe you'll like it. And then finally, we have the vault tech one. I think this is the worst. I just find it to be the most boring. The colors really don't look all that well on any of the guns I tested it on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I just wanted to make a short video showing you guys all these. It's kind of interesting how they released this. We just got new skins like a week ago. Now we're getting more new skins. I don't know if this is something Bethesda is going to do in the future. I reached out to them. They didn't give me a response. Maybe we'll see another bunch of new kind of Creation Club content next week. And then maybe the first week of each month will be like the big creations each subsequent week being kind of smaller things like weapon skins but at the same time this might have just been something they had in the backlog or maybe they have a lot of stuff kind of built up for fallout 4 because we also didn't get anything for skyrim so it's only fallout 4 this week let me hear your comments and opinions down below i imagine i'll hear a lot of them personally i'm not a huge fan of this it's not the worst deal in the world but at the same time three dollars for four weapon skins that honestly aren't all that crazy or eye popping isn't that good maybe if it was four dollars for all seven of them that could be a decent deal or three dollars for all seven of them but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. I know a lot of people were happy with the previous one, so maybe a few of you guys will like these ones also. That's pretty much it. As always, again, I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.